Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, how are you? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I, go I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, passing Valentine's Day. I hope you guys had a great time. Anyways, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Like I said, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on with you, Aries. Spirit gets what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance for the month remaining of February 2021. Okay, one more. All right, let's get into your reading, Aries. The first card here is the Two of Cups, the High Priestess here, the Lover's card. Wow, very strong cards here. Now the Person of Your Interest, Four of Swords, the World card, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so with the Two of Cups here, we see... Um, you're definitely, I feel like someone's definitely got your attention, Aries. With the Two of Cups, this is, this could be a very deep connection. This could be uh, feeling very pulled towards a specific individual. The High Priestess is a all-knowing type of energy. And what this signifies is, um, it could be that you are very attracted or you're being pulled towards someone that could be very spiritual, very intuitive. Uh, this could be a person that practices the esoteric or a person that um, is very spiritually inclined. Now, with the lover's card here, I feel that for some of you guys, um, there's almost like this feeling of frustration, um, like things haven't progressed the way you would want them to. Now, how this person is viewing the connection or the uh, how they're viewing you, Aries, is the Four of Swords. So I feel that right now they're taking some time um, to themselves or working on bettering themselves to be able to elevate themselves to the next chapter of their life. With the World card here, uh, this could be almost like, um, I feel very strongly that you guys see this individual or this person that you're currently dealing with. You, like, you admire... Um, their their personality their character there's something that is very mysterious about them that i feel that's what really ignites the passion within you or the wanting to chase this person however i feel that this person may not be as aware um so it could be someone that is in your surroundings this could be a friend this could be someone that is close to you or works with you um, but I feel that they're very like they're very unaware that you're interested and I feel like for some of you guys You've made it clear in the sense of how you flirt with them or how you communicate with them But I feel that there's like something where They're not taking it seriously or they're not Really entertaining that idea. It's almost like you're coming off as like a jokester or you're coming off as um, and not a jokester in a negative way, but a jokester as in like you like to mess around a lot or you like to, um, you know, make jokes often, uh, that type of energy. And I feel that they're very disconnected from this connection. Um, with the world card, this is a desire, a want to take it to the next level. But I feel that with the four of swords, it, it has nothing to do with relationship i feel that this person is on a goal or on a pursuit to a goal some type of achieving and i feel i feel that up until this point there hasn't been much of um movement because this person is really focused on themselves right now aries i feel that this uh individual that you're interested in uh has major goals or major aspirations and that's what they're uh, basically what their focus and their energy is going towards. However, I do feel that by the end of February, the beginning of March, there's going to be an opportunity where this individual either opens up or you guys have a clear and concise conversation. And I'm going to be very straightforward to the point with you, Aries. I feel that it is very important for you to really have a deep conversation with them. Now, why is this? Because I feel that 
you're very invested in this connection. You're very, um, you know, the Two of Cups, the Lover's card here right at the center, the High Priestess. It's like something in you is telling you that this is going to move forward. But I feel that at the same time, there could be options here, not just for you, but for them as well. And I feel that um, if you can see here the Lover's card, um, there is almost like circumstances that brings them together, which would be the angel above. Um, and I feel that there has been almost like you've you've known a certain aspect to this person that perhaps other people are not aware of. It could have been that as an example, if it's a close friend or someone that you've known for quite a while, it's like you've seen them at their very when they were lost. And I feel that now you're seeing them being accomplished and going after their dreams. And there is this type of admiration there. But I feel that they've kept you in either that friend zone or they've kept you in that sphere of a friend because they don't want to jeopardize that friendship. I feel that this person could be a person that could be very like disconnected or perhaps very practical about the people that are around them. Um, and it's almost like they don't want to, you know, give this a go and then lose you as a friend. But with the Queen of Cups here, this person will become emotionally available to you or they will um, speak their mind or speak, you know, really how they feel or what they think about you um, throughout. Like I said, I want to say the end of February, the beginning of March, there's going to be an opportunity where you're both going to be able to open up to each other. Let's see what your, yeah, we have here the Princess of Cups. So again, this is uh, becoming emotionally available. This is uh, being truth or honest to, to, your own, uh, to your own feelings towards this person or having that conversation of, you know, declaring yourself or declaring your love for them or vice versa. This could be them as well. Uh, let's see what they will, what energy will they take on when this conversation happens? Okay. Yeah, 10 of pentacles here. So I feel that for those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone, um, I feel that you guys haven't been on the same page. I feel that one has been wanting or desiring or lusting after the other while the other's been busy focusing on their career, focusing on their goals, focusing on achieving. Um, however, I do feel that there's going to be an opportunity to be able to combine or to be able to bring in that connection and to actually manifest it or to actually uh, create some type of longevity in this connection. And I feel very highly that this individual is very much interested in you. I just feel that there is a fear within them of jeopardizing the friendship that has already either been built or that is building. So they're trying to take things rather slow here. With the Ten of Pentacles, however, there is promise for something long term. So again, um, whenever this opportunity presents itself to open up and communicate, uh, jump into it, Aries. Um, be fearless in that sense of opening up and being honest about your feelings. I feel that um, it may come as a surprise to this person. However, I feel that they will not reject you. I feel that they will contemplate, uh, maybe take their time in making that decision. But I definitely do see um, them thinking or understanding that perhaps it's time to take it to the next level or to even uh, delve into seeing what can come from this friendship. Because again, with the uh, Princess of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles, um, they will be emotionally available. They will open up to you. And uh, the possibility of turning into something long term is very highlighted here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.